somebody else who makes us feel so good. Every time I talk to her, every time I see her, it's our first guest, Mickey Guyton. Mickey, um, Mickey has taken the world of country music by storm. Four Grammy nominations, one for Best Country Album, and in 2020, she became the first black woman to be nominated for a Grammy in the Best Country Solo Performance category ever. And now Mickey is joining other country music greats, Jimmy Allen and Orville Peck. They've got a new show on Apple TV Plus. It's called My Kind of Country. They are searching the planet to find the next big country star. Take a look. I'm Mickey Guyton. It wasn't until I embraced what made me unique and sung authentic stories about being a black woman in country music that doors opened for me. I want to continue that journey and helping other artists realize that they have a chance to make it in country music too. Tam fam, please welcome four-time Grammy-nominated country music singer, Nikki two Texas girls in the same room. Yes! <laughs> yes! I, when you ran out, I felt like we were reenacting the color purple. It's like, oh, you yeah. and me. <laughs> <laughs> oh, oh, my God. Congratulations no. on everything. Thank you so much. Are I... you kidding? Thank you for what you've brought to country music. Look at guys. I mean. Oh, I'm just, first of all, I just adore and love you, oh. and thank you for being such a supporter of me and so many other uh, marginalized country artists that are pursuing country music. Like you are opening the doors as well, so thank you. Oh, please! I, I just, I'll tell you, I'm inspired by you. That's, you were Time Magazine's Breakthrough Artist 2022, and so the premise of this show really is you're scouting. <laughs> give you your flowers, your snaps, oh your bad Um, But you know, here you are, you're the breakthrough artist. You yeah. are um, the person everybody's talking about. So you sign up for this show where you're looking for the next breakthrough artist, but you're going to Mexico, yes. India, yes. all around the world. Yes. yes. What was that? I mean, when you heard the pitch, I know you, so I, I know oh, it had to be I like- Do I have a pulse? <laughs> yes, I will do this. I, it was like a no brainer because I was already trying to do that in my own career is trying to open the doors for other artists. So this is on such a larger scale and on such a, a it's like globally, giving the opportunity for everybody to sing country music. And we love country music. Right, well music should speak to your, it's like food, yeah. right? You yeah. wanna learn something about somebody, go to their house and have a meal. Yes, You know, music exactly. is that connective exactly. tissue for everyone. Exactly. Reese Witherspoon and Casey Musgrave, yes. they're executive producers yes. of the show. But the stars are these people from around the world. Yes. So, so Okay, they say like blues, country music, it's heartbreak. Yes. It's love and loss. Love, it's, faith, family. <laughs> it's having whiskey and recovering yes. from the love, all, loss, it's all of life. that. So when you life. go to India, for example, how, yeah. how do they feel that rhythm of country music so identified with the states? Well, we have a specific artist named Dhruv who the way he plays the guitar is unlike anything that I've ever seen before. And to see him interpret country music in his way and the way that he writes music and sings it, it's just so beautiful. Right. I cannot wait for everybody to see it. Talk to me about the language differences, right? Because yes. I, I, for example, I love French hip hop. I speak no French. <laughs> Je m'appelle Jemmer and all. But there, sometimes in my car, I'm like, yes. <laughs> I don't even know what I'm saying. I'm like, what did I just say? Great, <laughs> like, don't know what but I'm saying it. So when you're there and someone is pouring their heart out in a different language yes. and you don't know what they're saying, but you can feel it. You can it. feel, you can it. feel it. it. You can yeah. feel it. Like music is so crazy because you can hear just music and not have any words and it still moves you. Yeah. And to hear, you know, yes! <laughs> yes! <laughs> and, and to hear these artists, like we have one artist named Wandile who's yeah. from South Africa who wow. sings a song. You know what I'm okay, so people don't you, realize you that do. our oh, studio is, is a, our studio is a stone's throw from the United Nations. So usually we have people from all around yes. the world. So you're just saying South Africa. She's like, whoop! 
probably from yes. South Africa. There's, there's so many amazing artists yeah. in South Africa that love country music that aren't getting these opportunities. Wow. And that's what makes this show so special because there are artists out there that have had such an affinity for country music that never got the but opportunity to do that. But never got the shot. So mm -hmm. Jimmy Allen, who's also a friend of our show, yes. Orville Peck, Crazy everyone Jimmy sees Allen. your, I know Kitty is hilarious. Is. Uh, Jimmy's hilarious. Uh, he is. You have uh, people Orville watching Peck. your huge success. Yeah. and the, But you also talk, and you always keep it real about the challenges, right? Yes. It wasn't a cakewalk. Nope. You didn't walk in the door and everybody no. said, okay, this is going to be the greatest no. thing to happen to country yes. music in a very long time. And you open up about that. Let's take a look. Jimmy Allen. It took me 11 years to get a record deal. I lived in my car. Mickey Guyton. I was the first black female solo artist to earn a Grammy nomination in a country category. Orville Peck. My mask allows me to be more vulnerable and share my perspective as a gay country artist. I mean, so. Oh, you guys. I know, it's true. But I, I know that, I mean, part of your success was that you were unapologetic about wanting to break down the barrier. Yes. And that didn't scare people off. That made them flock to you. Yeah, which is crazy because I thought it was going to be the end of my career. But, and I was expecting that. Like, I was like, look, I'm going to lay it all on the table. Yeah. Like, this is it for me. It cannot continue on. And I wanted to be unapologetic about it because I wanted especially black people to know that I am theirs, mm. that I am here. You know yeah. I'm saying. <laughs> and that I support the cause and I support, yeah. you know, diversity, equity, and inclusion yeah. in all genres. And now you're opening up not just in the States, you've now opened the international yeah. doors to finding the next big person in country music. Yes. I love this show. I it's, love it. It's, it's, it's so it's beautiful. It's gonna be beautiful.